I am in editing mode in our new survey gadget. You can add your survey title here. Just click in the text field, select the placeholder text, and replace that with whatever you'd like. You can add additional instructions right here. And then we have question types. A single response, multiple response, or short response, which will be a free response type question. Adding a new question, just click right there where it says add question, and then type in an answer. And if you want to allow a custom response, click allow custom response, and you will be able to type in whatever you want to here. And we'll click outside of there to close that out. Deleting questions is the same as the quiz gadget. Just click the X to delete a question, and it will go away. Let's go out of editing mode, and let's take a look at this. This is a single response type question, so it will only allow me to select one answer. And if I select the custom response answer, then the text field is activated, and I am prompted to type in my answer. And you can do multiple lines in here. I'm going to go ahead and clear out of that and go back into editing mode. And let's take a look at multiple response. A multiple response question will have check boxes instead of the radio buttons. And you are allowed to select multiple answers and also custom response answers at the same time. Now back into editing mode, you can add images to your questions. So you can drag and drop or you can click to initiate your file picker. I'll go ahead and close that out. Uh, you can clone questions right there. And new question, just click the new question button. Let's choose short response, and we will add a question here. And again, you can add images, you can clone, you can delete from here. I'm going to go out of editing mode, and now you can see that we have our text field, and this is free response text, and there is no character limit on this. And when your learners are done, click Submit Response. And they can resubmit, so they can submit multiple times. And that will all be collected. So we go to Manage, and this takes us to the Course Overview. Over here to the New Survey Results tab, and then click Download CSV, and you will get your spreadsheet of your survey results. And this is what this looks like here. So there's a challenge ID, and then the challenge itself, which is the text of the question, if it is a single response or multiple response, it will be shown as multiple choice in the challenge type. If it's short answer, then you will see short answer there. And you can see here it's collected all of our text. You also get a day and time stamp right here for the attempts. You get the learner ID, you get the learner name, and the learner email if it's all available. And that's it. That's the new survey gadget.